Hey, Jill. Lucky to be afloat. Take us around. Let's find a boarding point. Ninety-four minutes since Chris and Jessica dropped off the radar. But the interpolation from their last known coordinates puts them... Right here on the ship. Shoot it off. A stench. It's been abandoned for a while. here. Hey! What? What happened? I don't think we're alone. There's blood coming from the ducks. No power, which means no elevator for us. It's not working.
sort it out. The power still works here. Take a look at this. Parker, give me a hand here. Sure, no problem. <sighs> I got something. I think it's a gun. Now what? Give me a sec. <coughs> so, it's not Chris. Our missing crew. This is not good. Where are you, Chris? This sunny and idyllic Mediterranean coast was the site of one of the world's greatest structures. It took a full 11 years to finish constructing the world's first Aquapolis, the floating city of Terra Grigia. A sustainable metropolis operating on a massive solar energy matrix and equipped with the latest green technologies. Never before had solar energy been used to supply power to an entire city. But in 2004, Veltro, a terrorist group opposing the city's development, launched a bioterrorist attack. They not only released a virus, but also several creatures, known as bio-organic weapons, further complicating the situation. This launched one of the worst tragedies the world has ever seen. The FBC, the world's leading counter-bioterror organization operating under the auspices of the U.S., was called in to direct efforts to contain the attack. The BSAA, a counter-bioterror NGO, which operates independently of the interests of any one country, went in as observers to assist the FBC. Realizing the need for immediate and decisive action, Supreme Local Headquarters issued the order to use the city's solar energy matrix on itself. Media outlets around the world began to refer to the incident as the Terra Grigia Panic. Following the incident, the FBC announced it has successfully disbanded the terrorist group called Veltro. It is now 2005, and a sense of calm and security is finally returning to the people. But, as you can see, the lost city of Terra Grigia remains inaccessible a silent and potent symbol of the threat that bioterror poses for people around the world. Ah, 
there you two are. O'Brien, you don't normally join the fray. Well, my doctor told me I need exercise. <laughs> I assume you both know that the FBC has cordoned off the entire area. However, in the past few weeks, a number of mysterious carcasses have washed up. I guess the FBC couldn't cover up a mess this big, huh? Anyone who knows what happened here is going to put two and two together. And that's why I've sent the BSAA in to investigate. Did you pick up your new equipment from Quint? Yeah. Uh, Genesis or something. Is that its name? You didn't bother to read the manual, did you? No, uh, I brought it with me, just in case. I hope you read quickly, because you're going to need it on your mission. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> ah, look at this mess. Oh, they're rotted to hell. The Genesis requires a decent sample size to get an accurate reading. Scan the carcasses on the beach and send me your data. Have a look at this. I'm getting something from inside it. Careful now. Don't worry, I've done this before. I've got something. What is this? If it's an engineered mutation, this could prove a link. I'll run some tests on this. Continue with the investigation. Out there. That's where Terra Grigia was. Has it been a year already? To Raccoon City. This must be a cakewalk. I suppose. So why'd you quit the FBC for this outfit? I wanted to be more involved. I wanted to fight. I see you two are okay. Continue with the investigation, but proceed with extreme caution. samples to run an analysis. Give me a few more. Oh, that smell must have ruptured from gas. Christ, what a mess.
I've collected enough samples. Good. Get them to me ASAP. These stay dead. More of them? They have the new problems. Finally, some peace and quiet. All in a day's work for you two, eh? All right, enough chit chat. Get that sample data to me. There you are. Nice work. No doubt about it. These corpses show signs of viral infection. And I bet it's no coincidence they came through the FPC's blockade. Well, we did all we can. Now, we wait for the results to come back from HQ. Huh? It's the emergency line. Yeah, it's me. Uh-huh. What? Yes, that's fine. I'll take it from here. We'll have to speed things up. Starting now. Uh-huh. Good. Get to it. Jill, Parker. You two are still on the case. What happened? We lost contact with Chris and Jessica. When? How? We're not certain. I've sent their last known coordinates to your terminals. The signal was lost over the ocean. I thought they were in the mountains chasing Feltro. But judging from their position, they must be... On a ship. I'll go back to HQ, take charge of the search and rescue. You two will be my eyes out there. Yes, sir. got to Chris and Jessica? I hope not. Hey, no one's saying Chris is dead. All right, then let's find him already. You hear that? Was that the lock? I'll check it out. Okay, I'll see what I can find here. Copy that. I'll radio you if I pick up Chris's trail. This thing has a lot of similarities to the corpses on the beach. Chris, but he's trapped in there. Can you get him out? No, it's a tough lock. I need the key. Okay, then let's find it.
What's going on? I found a survivor. The BOW's got her, though. Who was she? I'm still trying to piece that together. Parker, I couldn't find anything out on the woman, but I did find a key. Let's try it out. I'll meet you in the crisis room. See you there.